Okay, here I'm showing uh, the MUTCD operating on a iOS simulator. Uh, specifically, it's uh, working on iOS 4.2, which operates on several different iPhone models. Uh, here, uh, I want to give you an overview of how I uh, looked at the MUTCD in a smartphone format. Uh, first tab is related to text. What it's doing is reproducing the text from the 2009 uh, Federal MUTCD. Uh, you should recognize all the different parts. A little icon to help you distinguish it. Uh, here it's just replicating the text. So if I'm looking for something, let's say like a stop sign and 2B.05, uh, I can look up all the text right here. Uh, it's got hyperlinks to all the different sections in within it, uh, tables and figures. So say I want to look at the figure pertaining to the stop sign, it's figure 2B1. I can zoom in on it if I want to. These little gray circles are used to simulate your figure fingers. If I want to go to 2P.07, it's multi-way stop applications. Uh, allows one to go in and out between uh, different sections of the MUTCD very quickly. Let's say I wanted to look up something related to highway traffic signals. Okay, traffic signals. Let's look up. Uh, let's say I want to look up for displays here. Traffic signal features. Okay, number of signal faces on an approach. Here you go. Um, Why well, you can look up things this way? Um, I think the best way is really to use the search menu up here. Let's say I want to look up some information to raise pavement markers. This basic search engine checks up everything based on uh, within the titles of the different sections and parts. So it's looking for a text string that's matching that portion of just the title. It's not doing a linear search let's say it was a pdf file would for a stop so if i'm going to type stop in here it's going to show me the location where it appears in the section titles so uh, it narrows it down immediately right there uh, if i know more information about what i'm searching let's say i, I kind of know the section name here it's looking for drum drums and i can look up the portion in uh, part six temporary traffic control and drums um, so that's how the text section operates let's look at signs here i got signs set up here by uh different types here and uh, what's good about here is uh, you can select it by type here so I go to regulatory that's going to show the different reg regulatory signs uh, that appear in the manual I can click on it, find more information uh, it's going to show it by uh, the title uh, MUTCD number and, and the section here when you look at it specifically under the section let's say I want to search for a sign though I, I can type in the string that pertains to a different sign sp specific sign uh, Let's get to, uh, a little too quick type in there. And it's going to show me the sign. Um, I can look at it graphically uh, and make sure I have the proper one. Let's say I just want to know it's gonna know a sign has detour in it, but I don't know which specific sign I want. I can look it up that way. It's going to show me the different signs that have detour in it. Let's say I know the number, but uh, I didn't know the name. Here, I type in the MUTCD number, it's going to show me the Chevron sign. Let's say I want to look at an uh, arrow sign, it's going to show me the one direction large arrow sign. Let's do, it says street name sign here. Street name shows you the two different matching the strings. It's showing two here because it has the A after the one, and it's just matching strings. So let me give you an example. If I type in R2 hyphen one, it's just not going to give me the speed limit, it's also going to give me the R2 hyphen 10, R2 hyphen 11, R2 hyphen 12. I haven't differentiated it yet to just show it. Um, I, I think you cl click on it pretty visually, pretty easily visually after you look up what you want. Okay, uh, so that's how it works up there. Pretty easy to find all the signs. You can actually show all the signs if you wanted to. You don't want to look by type, but just look by series. Uh, it's going to show you all the different signs here. Uh, not the easiest way to search for signs, but. Uh, this help you introduce you to signs that you may not have considered before. Tables operate similarly. All the different tables are here. Uh, if I want to zoom in on a table, I can zoom in this way. This looks to be table categories of warning signs. Let's say I want to look up something specifically for a specific table. Let's say I wanted to type in warrant, see what Table supply to signal warrants. I got table warrant here, eight hour vehicular volume. I can look up that information really quickly. Let's say I want to go to figures. Let's say I want to look up figures that pertain to signal warrants. I can look here. 
So I'm gonna look at peak hour. Here's the information related to peak hour. So it's all pretty good. Uh, parts to the smartphones that I want to look into more with using the manual it has to do with the microphone, uh, accelerometer, and the camera. Let me show you how the microphone you can do speech recognition on the iPhone 4S. Okay, here I'm going to show the speech recognition capabilities on a smartphone. In this case, it's an iPhone 4S. Detour. Okay, all the signs with detour in the description show up. Let me do a few more. Street name. All the signs with street name in the description. Let's try this one. No traffic signs. So no traffic signs from part five shows up. Okay, let's... Let's do a few more. Uh, one way. One way signs. Now it's gonna have trouble deciphering some. Watch. Stop. I don't know if it's my voice or not. I always get stuck. So who knows exactly what's going on there? But we're getting closer. Um, do one more here. Rattlesnake. So the rattlesnake sign shows up. You just go right to it. Um, you can also do it with the text anywhere you enter. Text port tab. So if I want to do something like raise pavement markers. No, didn't get it there. Let's try again. Raised pavement markers. It shows everything with raised pavement markers there. And that's within the text. So I think the manual is going to evolve a lot in the near future.